Hello everyone! Welcome to a new series on the channel CJ Bricks. Now, if you've seen the uh, little title before this, uh, this is mine and Connor's new segment of the channel where we're going to be reviewing Lego. So, I am happy to present the first Lego video, the Lego Milano set. This set is very cool, I'm very excited to review it. But uh, let's talk a bit about the, uh, the channel logo. So the channel logo CJ Bricks means Connor J Bricks. And uh, we are also ordering 500 and si no, 614 pounds worth of Lego this year. It'll be here this year. And I'm so, so excited to show you guys it. It's literally amazing. I've got Star Wars, Marvel, Minecraft. I've got those three themes down to a lock. I'm so excited. There's going to be a lot more Star Wars Lego on this channel than there is other themes. But like the Benatar will be coming. We'll be doing the Benatar and the Iron Man mech. And then, of course, we've got like some Minecraft sets. I'm not going to say too much, but... uh. Let's get to the review, shall we? Okay, so this is the Lego Benatar. Um, Benatar? Sorry about that, guys. Lego Milano. This is from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And, uh, yeah. So we haven't got the minifigures with this because I had to actually buy it off of... This is when I used to buy sets um, from third-party sellers. I never bought them from uh, like in box. So this set was not in box. So uh, I built it out of the box. Well, not out of the box. Of course, in the box. So, uh, yeah. Let's take a look at the minifigure that I put in there. So we've got Rocket Raccoon here. Lovely, lovely minifigure there. Really, really nice detailed minifigure. Although they could have definitely done with the uh, newer Rocket Raccoon thing that they've done now with the brown. Uh, that's annoying. I'm going to move that down there like that. And uh, yeah. So we've also got a uh, lovely tail piece as well. Lovely back printing on the figure as well. Lovely torso printing. Got that uh, head mold there as well. Big head mold. So let's move Rocket Raccoon aside for a second. And let's talk about the Milano. So the Milano is a very nice set. There's a few player features on it, but not too many. So it does come with stud shooters, but I've taken them off. Because I don't like stud shooters in my set. So uh, I know most people like you know keep the stuff on for their sets to review them. But I'm not, because I hate stud shooters. I think they should not be allowed in the sets. Especially sets like these that are just going to ruin it. Because they're like right here and they look so weird and just sticky out. It's just horrible. So uh, let's, let's take a look at the back of the ship first. And we'll go from the front. So we have like this lovely turbine here with the wheel piece. Uh, these pieces do move up, and they move to the side, and these are like the wing pieces. Some lovely sticker printing on here for the back of the uh, Milano. And if we take a, take a look underneath, we have the landing point here, and we have some bombs. So these bombs actually do, so you press this button up here, this little X here, and they do do that. So you've got some little red bombs, and they're really easily put back on, so you just flip the ship over. Make sure that uh, X bit isn't po protruding, and then you just put them on these two holes here. So you just put it there, and then let's see if one there. Then put the other one there. Oops. Put the other one there, flip back over, it's ready to go again. So let's take a look at the wings. So we actually get three of these, but I took the third one off, because, uh, by the way, mind, I got this set ages ago, you can see the dust on it, I got this set ages ago, so most of the pieces, I would have put them back on, but I don't know where they are, so that's the reason why I haven't put them back on. So this is, this is a bit of a lower grade review. But uh, we're going to do some other reviews soon. So, uh, yeah, so I've got these pieces here. Really nice pieces. And then we've got the wing piece. So I always have it displayed like this because I feel like it looks better like that. With like the wing piece like that. And like that. I'll take a look at the other side. And get the same wing piece thing. So these do move, but they're really fiddly. So you're actually supposed to push them in. Like that. And they do move a bit. But not too much. We have a lovely print sticker thing there. Some stickers on the front. The front looks really good. And of course we have that printed windshield piece that we also get to see in the uh, Benatar and the uh, other Milano, I think, um, other Benatar, but they're pin I think in the Benatar small set it's printed like this and then in the big Benatar it's printed purple, so I really like the purple one. So inside in the interior, not really much going on, but we have a mixtape holder here, I really like this detail, sticker printed. We have a few slots for minifigures, looks like we can fit maybe one, two, maybe three minifigures in here with the cockpit person as well, uh, with the pilot. So we have some two sticker, I think two, yeah, two sticker printed bits there. Not really much going on with this set. So this set was quite a boring set back in the day, but uh, yeah, it's a very nice set, I think. So um, yeah, this is the Milano. It's a very nice set. So I think there's probably 500 pieces in this, I think. I think there is, but uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you like and subscribe. And this will be mine and Connor's new segment. So uh... Connor will be doing some, so I, what I said to Connor is that the Spider-Man ones, hold on, let me tell you face to face. So I said to Connor that the Spider-Man video, like Spider-Man Lego sets are all his, apart from maybe like Spider-Man No Way Home if they do like Green Goblin sets or something like that. 
because I don't really care about Spider-Man, but I like Lego Star Wars, so I said to him, the deal is, if I don't touch any of his Spider-Man sets, he doesn't touch any of my Star Wars sets. But as in, like, we don't, we don't review, he doesn't review Star Wars sets, and I don't review Spider-Man sets. So I'm reviewing, I can still review Marvel, and he can still review, you know, but he can't, he can't review Star Wars, he doesn't like Star Wars anyway, so it's fine. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy it, if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.